So this question um, is on thyroidectomies. Um, it was, I have a patient who's having a right thyroid lobectomy done. Do I code for a total or a partial? So let me go through my little um, thyroid spiel. Um, this, what comes to mind immediately is think of a butterfly. And there's a picture in CPT that if you, you can kind of visualize it, and it does look like a butterfly, like the two wings on either side, and then that middle little, on the thyroid, it's called the isthmus. I always sound like I'm lisping when I talk about the, <laughs> the um the deal in the middle here. So when you look at the codes, if you think of the butterfly, because some of them will say they did, you know, one lobe. Some will say they did part of one lobe and part of another lobe. So let's go through that. Now that you have the, the visual of a butterfly in mind with the isthmus in the middle, um, the first two codes are a biopsy and then an excision of an adenoma or a cyst. But this is where they start for the thyroidectomy code. 60210 is partial thyroid lobectomy unilateral. And this is with or without the isthmus, so with or without the, the middle portion. So this is actually supposed to look like one quarter. So one quarter of the butterfly is being removed because there's two lobes, a right and left lobe. So they're doing a partial lobectomy on one side. So that's why I think of it as one quarter of the butterfly. Now, 60212 says with the contralateral, which means opposite side, subtotal lobectomy, including the isthmus. So think of that as half the butterfly. It's not one whole lobe. It could be the upper of the right and the lower of the left, or the upper of the right and the upper of the left. You get the idea. But basically, half the butterfly is being removed. 60220 is a total thyroid lobectomy unilateral. So that would be the answer for your question here, having a right thyroid lo lobectomy done. If they're removing the whole lobe, that's what you're going to use, um, 60220. And so that's half the butterfly, but it's, it's one side, right or left. And again, it's with or without the isthmus. You don't code that separate if they do it. And then 60225 is with contralateral subtotal lobectomy. So they had half the butterfly on the right side gone, and now they're taking a little bit on the opposite side. So I view that as three quarters of the butterfly gone. And then your 60240 is a thyroidectomy total or complete. So the whole butterfly is gone. And then if you are doing a total or subtotal for malignancy, so there's a cancer with a limited neck dissection, then you're going to go beyond that. You're going to get into these uh, 60252 codes. So limited neck dissection versus radical neck dissection. And then 60260, this is also called a completion thyroidectomy in that they removed part of the tissue in one operative session, and now they're coming back um, and removing the, the rest of the, the thyroid. So this is a thyroidectomy removal of all remaining thyroid tissue following previous removal of a portion. Okay. Um, and then this uh, 60270 uh, thyroidectomy, including substernal thyroid, sternal split, or transthoracic approach. So, you know, obviously many times with um, CPT coding, the approach will dictate which uh, codes we're going to use over others. So hopefully that is a good little overview for you of thyroid coding, thyroid surgery coding. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.